So this is a video how to effectively use the variation wizard inside of your Amazon Seller Central under the inventory tab. I have this item right here in my inventory. I want to list it in green, but when I select medium, that's the color is it's not available. So what I do either um, in your top search bar or down here, you have to copy an ASIN of any of these that are already on the listing, any of the variation ASINs, it doesn't matter which one, just copy one. And then you go to your um, Amazon under inventory, click add a variation. And I want to add or update an existing variation family. So it already has variations, but I have a variation that's not listed in the family. So here you just paste any of the ASINs that you swiped from the listing. It doesn't matter because it'll grab all of them and you search it. And then it brings up everything that exists. Sometimes I'll see that mine is on here. And for some reason it just wasn't showing up. But in this case, you can see it's only large in green. So I want to add a variation. I just put my title, except I want medium. And then you either put in the, um, the EAN or the UPC. A lot of times it's just easier for me. Um, I'll just grab one off of my list. Sometimes things don't have UPCs on them. Um, then again, I want to put this size. And then it wants to know the color. And then type the color because sometimes it's in the green family, but they might call it olive. So then you could put the real name. But I'm just going to stick with green because that's what's on the listing. Size is a medium. It's new. Um, I have one and I guess I'll just do 3589 because that's what the other ones are going for and I click save. Sometimes for some reason it makes you select a category. Um, I'm not really sure why sometimes it does it and sometimes it doesn't but if it does then you have to just pick whatever category um, comes closer and then you click generate template. So now it just generated the file. You then click download. Now it's downloaded onto my computer. Now I have to, uh, because I have a Mac, if you don't have a Mac, it'll probably just go straight into Excel. But because I have a Mac, I, it, it loads it in numbers. Um, at the top here, you can't see because the screen cut off, you click on template. And there's the template. Now, because I have a Mac and I'm using numbers, I just have to do an extra step and export it to Excel. But if you already saved it in Excel, then you don't have to do that. You just save it normally and name it whatever you're going to name it. So once that's done, I come back into my uh, inventory tab. So I click inventory. If it'll let me. <laughs> I click inventory. I feel like Amazon runs slow sometimes. It's not letting me. Okay. And you go to add products via upload. Click on that. And it's going to bring you to a screen. You want to make sure you click check and upload your inventory file. Skip the first step. Don't touch it. That's what I was told. I opened a ticket to learn how to do this because I got tired of uh, making listings. I just couldn't figure it out. So choose file and then I saved it under green shell. So there's my Excel file because Amazon reads everything through templates. And then it says here's Excel recommended um, and I click upload. And so right now it doesn't say anything. Um, as you can see, some of these, it'll say a total uploaded six, four. I'm not really sure what the errors are. Sometimes you can download the report. Um, it'll take a little while 
to pop up. Um, sometimes I'm surprised it'll pop up right away. Um, but for instance, I can scroll down. I'll find one that I did. It's so weird. Only Amazon runs slow on my computer. I don't know if anybody else has the same problem. Um, basically what will happen is when it's done, if you did it right, it'll just pop up in your inventory. Oh my goodness. Okay. As like this with a variation. So I already did one. Um, because I had a different color and then as you can see it popped up with the, the different colors for the beige and then sometimes you might have to go ahead in and add um, add a picture if it needs it which you can just steal off the existing listing and then just make sure you resize it um, to 1000 pixels on at least one side and if you need to learn how to resize an image and paint I have a video on that too so um, hopefully this will pop up in my inventory soon and then as soon as it does I can just click it and then send it right in and um, it'll be there for anybody else that needs it next time.